Well, hello everyone. Lucky Duck, your small time gambler with you. May the 29th, 2020. We're going to talk a little baseball today. Both uh, MLB and the KBO, the Korean Baseball Organization. Uh, Major League Baseball is looking to uh, get their season started, albeit a couple of months late. Uh, looking to um, report for the second spring training, if you will, in the middle of June, and then hopefully kick their season off uh, the first part of July. Uh, been some negotiating going on uh, as far as money goes and how uh, they'll handle the coronavirus uh, spread. Uh, try to keep the players healthy. And uh, the uh, owners have uh, approached the players' union with a proposal. Uh, salary proposal to players. Uh, if you're making a million dollars a year as a player, under the new proposal, that would be 434000 now, so that's a pretty good cut. Um, also, if you're making $5 million, $1.6 million now, that's a huge, huge cut. Uh, if you're at the $10 million level, $2.9 million will be your uh, salary this season if the uh, owner's uh, offer is accepted. Uh, at the $15 million level, you'll be at $4 million. And finally, at the $20 million level, you will pull in $5.2 million. So uh, these are some pretty big cuts. Um, uh, and it'll be uh, interesting to see if the players accept this. I would uh, uh, venture to say uh, no. And uh, we'll probably see a counter offer from them. Uh, owner of the uh, Brewers uh, said that the MLB revenues this year are expected to be around two and a half billion dollars, which is a pretty nice little chunk of change, uh, unless you're a politician, uh, versus 9.4 million, which is their normal year. So that's a pretty big cut. Uh, also, we're looking at an 82 game season. So a shortened season would also mean less revenue. Uh, you're not gonna have any uh, fans in the stands, so uh, less revenue there. Uh, no concessions, less revenue there. So, uh, the domino effect, if you will, on that one. So the question is, will the players accept this offer? Uh, look for a counter offer there, as I said before. Uh, there's some discussion of maybe extending the season from 82 to 100 games and keeping the uh, salary at the current level. Um, I would guess uh, there'll probably be some pushback there and we'll probably end up somewhere in between. Uh, also, what about the fans? Um, how much excitement will there be with the stands empty? Um, it's gonna got to have an effect on the players. Um, so I don't know. Will um, will it make a difference uh, watching the game on TV? It certainly will. Um, um, you know, the excitement of the fans I think adds a lot to the game, and that'll be missing. Uh, and since we're not going to have fans in the stands for at least at the beginning of the season. Uh, what if we're out in the parking lot tailgating? We did see some of this when NASCAR st uh, started up. And if there's tailgating before the game, what's the point of not having fans in the stands at that, at that point? It's kind of like opening Walmart and Costco and telling all the small businesses uh, you have to stay shut. Doesn't make any sense. Well, on to the KBO, Korean Baseball Organization. Um, We've uh, got the current standings uh, uh, going into tonight's games. The NC uh, Dinos are leading the league. They're at 17 and three. Uh, they've won five in a row, and uh, they've been a big surprise. Uh, they began the season at a uh, at a plus uh, 600 to win the title. So uh, being in first place uh, even this early in the season is a bit of a surprise. Uh, they're followed by the LG Twins, uh, coming in at 14 and six, three games back. Uh, they're on a nice little winning streak. They've also uh, won four in a row, and they came in the season at a plus 800. So uh, two of the uh, uh, middle middle teams are at the top of the league early this season. Uh, the Doosan Bears, who are the favorite, are in third place. They're 12 and eight, five games back, uh, six and four in their last ten. And as you may remember, they came in the season at a plus 350 to win the title. Uh, the Kia Tigers, uh, fourth place, they're 11 and 10. They're uh, six and four also in their last 10. Uh, they came into the season at a plus 800. And finally in fifth, the final playoff spot currently, uh, the Lotte Giants, uh, 10 and 10 and even 500. Uh, however, they're three and seven in their last 10, but 
they came in at a uh, humongous plus 2,000 to begin the season, so they're overperforming right now. Uh, of course, the biggest surprises thus far, the, uh, the Dinos, uh, which are leading the league, came in at a 6-1 to one dog, so uh, off to a good start, 17-3. and three. They're not going to keep that up, but uh, a big, big quick start for them. The biggest disappointment, the SK Wirens, uh, they're in last place with a 4-16 and 16 record. So they're buried pretty deep in last place. The Wyverns were uh, one of the favorites to win the league when it started coming in at a plus 400. And the only team that was uh, uh, had smaller odds were the Bears at a plus 350. So a big dis disappointment by the Wyverns. And uh, what is a Wyvern, you might say? My understanding is it's some type of a mystical dragon. Uh, and they are not blowing any fire thus far this season. 144-game uh, season in the KBO. Top five make the playoffs. We went down lows. So we're only about 14% of the way through the season. A uh, long way to go there. Uh, will the uh, interest in the KBO remain? It kind of depends on whether the uh, Major League Baseball is able to come to an agreement between the players and the owners and get the season kicked off. Uh, if not, we may be talking uh, uh, quite a bit more about the Korean Baseball Organization and uh, that remains to be seen. As, uh, as we're talking, uh, the uh, NHL uh, Hockey League and NBA are both discussing uh, how and when to begin their seasons and uh, what the best formats will be, and uh, so we'll be learning more about that in the coming days. So anyway, it looks like um, things are starting to get back. Uh, sporting world is coming back to life a little bit. Uh, Las Vegas, most of the resorts look like they will be opening uh, early June, so we'll have that to look forward to. The sports books will be opening, uh, although it'll be uh, on a muted schedule. I think 25% occupancy is what I'm hearing, so um, that'll be interesting to see how that goes, but uh, be good to have Vegas back, and uh, we can start looking at sports book and uh, maybe making some wagers, which is what we're all about. So this is Lucky Duck, your small time gambler with you. We thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you hear, we ask you to hit that subscribe button and give us the old thumbs up. We like that. And we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye and good luck, everyone.